But I think that look back on ART needs to take place after it's up and running for a little bit of an extended period, actually. Get the buses on the road, see how they're working in real life, real world circumstances. The current mayor, Tim Keller, is now working to get the project on wheels. I think at the end of the day, for all sorts of reasons, which are pretty obvious, this project was completely rushed and corners were cut, envelopes were pushed, people were cajoled. Uh, you never rush a project because of an election cycle. The city inspector general investigated much of arts controversies in this 73 page report. I'm told a spin off to this report is already underway. The OIG report released earlier this month, finding Barry's senior staff pushed for having a bus brought to the city before the end of his administration, quote, with the intent of using the bus for public relations, which included a publicity event involving the former mayor and other publicly elected leaders and and officials. Hi, Mayor Barry. Hi. Sorry to be intruding. Target 7 this, asked the former mayor the about this. No, I don't think I'm in a position really to speak on the buses because there's so much back and forth right now with the bus manufacturer and the current administration, which is normal. Also, Target 7 obtained this letter addressed to then Transit Department Director Bruce Rizzieri. That letter letting the city spend on some art costs, but with this caveat. The authority to incur costs provided in this letter does not constitute an FT a commitment that future federal dollars will be approved for the project. Clearly, you know, you should probably get the grant money before you start construction. That's what most cities are doing. For Target 7, Christine Pay, KOAT Action 7 News. This